Hi again then guys and welcome to another early access review for another racing game. I want to thank the good folks at N Racing who developed this game and Big Ben Publishing who of course published the game for this early access opportunity again. Now before I even get any further into the review and this is not something that anyone who follows the channel for some time will need me to say but for those who may be new I don't get paid for these reviews. I don't get paid to be positive or negative. I don't get any kind of financial incentive for these reviews videos, the only perk that I get is that it's early access. That's it. So I'm not working on any hints, any guidelines, any outlines, nobody tells me to say anything. So whatever I say is exactly what I think about the game. So what do I think about the game? Well the first thing that caught my eye about this game is that it is about trucks. I mean obviously, that's kind of the point. But the reason why that caught my eye is because it's something which I want to see more often. And I've actually talked about that a number of times on the channel. I wish we had more of that in Forza and Gran Turismo. Forza now has had two of them. You've got the Mercedes and the Volvo. Gran Turismo's never had it. Tocca had it back in the day. It's very rare to see truck racing incorporated into a large mainstream racing game. And I think that's a shame because it's such a unique discipline of racing. And it's one which has always interested me. Now, when it comes to these vehicles, of course, certain things are very obvious. The size and the weight, for instance, will jump out at you very quick. You would assume that you'd have to approach driving one in a very different way that you would with a car. But that's one of the things that I actually do like the most about this game. And that is that when you drive them, as soon as you do the first like demo stage, which I'll probably include the footage of in this review, you very quickly get the feeling that racing one of these trucks is less about just jumping in and driving like you would with a car, and it's more about an actual procedure of driving. Stuff that you would never even think of with a normal race car or road car in a racing game, such as the brakes, just losing efficiency over the course of a race, having an actual water-based cooling system for the brakes that you can engage with a button on the controller. It just adds another layer to the challenge of racing, and of course, more importantly, to racing well, that stuff like racing a supercar just doesn't have. That's never something that you worry about. You've got your carbon ceramic disc brakes, use them all day long, you never even give it a second thought. In this game, though, you really do have to give it a second thought because the brakes will fade because not only are they fast, not only are they powerful, but they're heavy. These are massive vehicles that you're driving, going through multiple gears constantly. You've got a huge amount of torque, which of course you can often see making the car surprise, or the truck I should say, surprisingly slippery through corners. And that was something which really actually caught me out when I was playing the game. I did not expect it would be like that. Usually they tend to be very much so on the understeer side of things. These ones though, as you can see from multiple points in the video, they actually get pretty tail happy a lot of the time, which is technically not too unrealistic, given that the vast majority of a truck's weight is over the front end, as you can see. So I love that aspect of they're trying to go for the more realistic side of things, but at the same time, I also like that it feels very good on a controller, because for those of you who don't know, I do all of my racing on a controller. I have little to no interest in a wheel. It's just not my thing. I've tried them. I do drive in real life. I just don't enjoy it in games. However, this game is very clearly geared towards appealing to both, because even though I do use a controller, I could tell from the way the truck's handled, the way the steering is, the way the weight feels, that this would actually most likely be a very fun game to play on a wheel. And that's coming from somebody who usually has no interest in a wheel. So if you do have a wheel, and if you do decide to play the game or get the chance to, I would be interested to know in the comments what you think about it, maybe down the line in the future if you play the game, because it feels like the kind of game that could be very fun on a wheel, especially if you put the wheel on an angle <laughs> so it feels more like a truck. Now, in terms of stuff like graphics, physics, uh, you know, gameplay, career mode, all that kind of stuff, what does it offer? Is it one of these games from like the early 2000s where it was just slap a name of a brand on the front of the box, have like two different circuits, one car that you can use and get bored of it within like an hour. Like these little Porsche challenge games and Ferrari challenge games, which just bore you almost immediately. They're not even worth buying more often than not, as far as I'm concerned. Definitely not. This is... Well, one of the only options for truck racing fans. So in a similar way to Monster Jam, it's not like it has a huge amount of rivalry out there like the Forzas and Gran Turismos and Project Cars do between each other. This isn't like that. It's like 
there's a barren wilderness and you've just got a few outstanding games for people who like this particular discipline. And unfortunately, that's kind of the, kind of the case for motorbike racing as well currently. Now, as far as the graphics, it's not going to worry Forza <laughs> anytime soon. It's certainly not going to worry Gran Turismo. But again, it's a smaller game. Of course it's not. It's not trying to make your own determinations as to whether or not you think they're good enough, if they're up to par, for instance. And again, it's on PC and the Nintendo Switch as well, so you have to take that into account. But I thought that the graphics were good enough. They kind of reminded me of like the Xbox 360 era of Forza a little bit, like Forza 3 and 4 kind of graphics in particular. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Forza 4 is my favourite Forza game, after all. Now, as far as the physics go, I already touched on the fact that I think it would feel very good on a wheel. But even on a controller, I love how they've interpreted the trucks into the game. Now, I haven't had the chance to drive every truck by any means. In fact, all of the footage that you'll see here is from within like the first couple of hours of gameplay. So, from the trucks that I've driven, which is probably like four or five different ones, they do feel different to each other for sure, especially once you change categories from the standard Euro ones that you see on the front of the box to the more long bonnet, like American style trucks with the black diesel fumes pumping out the top, which I actually kind of prefer. They do feel different. The weight shift, the way they put the torque down, even the performance that they can achieve. And for those who do enjoy games like Project Cars and Assetto Corsa, you'll actually find quite a lot of the options in the menu, not just for tuning, but even for setting up the events themselves, like the weather, the penalties that you can get, stuff like that. It's a little bit more in depth than you might expect. So that will be something that I think you'll want to know. If you're that kind of more sim focused racer, you can change the weather, you can change penalties, off track penalties, collision, damage levels, no damage, visual damage, sim damage, all that kind of stuff. And for those who may be wondering, yes, you can absolutely wear down the vehicle's efficiency. And I'm not just talking about tires, because usually in racing games that tends to be the main thing, and then damage is secondary to that. My favorite thing about driving the trucks in this one is actually the management that you have to have and the mindset to conserving your brakes. That's not something which I've really experienced in a lot of the games that I usually play, and I found it a very fun aspect, actually, of the game. The way that you've got two different independent buttons, on a controller, for instance, if you choose to use that, where you've got your brakes, and just apply the brakes as you usually would, but then you actually have a secondary button, which, you know, depends what you assign the button to be, but that is actually the water tank cooling system for the brakes. And you can see the temperature that the brakes are getting to, and of course they get extremely hot extremely quickly. When you're slowing something down that's this big and this heavy and this powerful, of course the brakes are going to heat up real fast. You only have a certain amount of water to use though. I love that kind of thing. It's just more interesting than, oh, my tyres have gone, I need to pit in. All, you know, all racing games pretty much have that. This is a, something that I haven't used before, never something that I've needed to use before, and I liked it. It was a cool little challenge of having this constant mix between having to conserve the amount of water that you need for cooling, but at the same time using the cooling at the same time as the brakes gives you amazing stopping power. So for instance, you can literally outbreak every other truck on the grid, but at the same time, you'll burn through the tank of water pretty quickly. So it's cool, you gotta have a strategy there. Even in short, like one or two lap races, you can easily run out of water in that time. So you've gotta plan the race, you've gotta adapt as you're driving, and even stuff like how tail happy the trucks can suddenly become because of the torque, for instance, it's interesting. It's an interesting layer that car racing of any type just doesn't usually have. Now, I'm not saying that this is the kind of game that I would jump on and play more than Forza and Gran Turismo, because of course that's not the case. That's never the case for me with any of these specialised games, because that's just not the kind of gamer I am. I prefer having a, a wide variety of vehicles, etc. So that would never be the case. However, I think for what it's trying to do, it does it very well. It's not exactly like there's a huge amount of options out there when it comes to trucks, like I mentioned earlier. So if you are a truck racing fan, I think this one's definitely worth checking out. 
Now, whether or not you choose to get it brand new or wait a little bit, of course, that's down to you. But as far as my stamp of approval goes, I'm going to give it to this game because I think that this is a good interpretation of how trucks, at least to the mind of a gamer, should feel. Of course, I've never actually raced trucks, but you feel the size, you feel the weight of the trucks, and I did actually find it very fun. Now, ultimately, you have to decide, of course, based on what kind of gamer you are, whether or not this appeals to you. I'm not going to say that, oh, you're looking for a rival to Gran Turismo? Check out this, because, of course, that's not what it's trying to be. If you have no interest in the sport of truck racing, then naturally it's not going to appeal to you, and I'm not going to claim that it will. For me, for instance, I never buy the F1 games, because it's just not my thing. However, if you are into truck racing, it's definitely worth checking out. So overall, that's it for my thoughts on the FIA, European Truck Racing Championship, or TRC. And yeah, give me your thoughts down below if you do get the chance to play it once it's come out, and also just your thoughts in general about the gameplay, the way it looks, is it something that would interest you? But for now, as always, thanks for watching.